so part two for the other part that i couldn't finish let me just wrap it up with this part the next thing don't change your life don't give up your life don't give up your friends don't give up your career because of a marriage don't do it you're going to regret it let me tell you guys this story so while we got married so apparently mine was conditioning right so for those of us that were born in the 90s in the 80s you know that majority of the girl children that are trained around those times they are just preparing you for marriage basically so the idea i had of marriage was immediately you are getting married every life that you've had before your husband before your spouse has ended now you are building a new life with your spouse that was the idea i had so while i was going to be married i changed my line for no reason i just changed my line like you know what i'm getting married i changed my line my friends that i had at the time i gave them my line but all the two stars all the boys every other person that had my number that was even a work number at the time lost contact with me so you can imagine me going into marriage blanked nobody knew where i was i just knew that i was married i wanted to start up life with my husband now my husband on the other hand did not change his line so you can imagine my disappointment you can imagine my frustration when it's like okay i've changed my line you are you not changing your line who sent me message nobody sent me message and he didn't owe me that so my husband was still keeping up with his friends you know from before we got married and this thing was really paining me like what's happening me i've changed my life why have you not changed your line it's conditioning i had to unlearn i had to relearn it and now i'm telling you please don't change your life don't change your line don't give up your career don't lose your friends because you are getting married i can understand the fact that okay when you are married you start to have married friends allow it to happen naturally don't drop all your single friends immediately like you know what i'm married so i'm done with you guys i'm bigger or better than you guys allow your married friend stage to happen naturally it will happen naturally because as you start to get married you start to go to more married people function you start to get children your children start to become friends naturally you are going to start becoming friends with other married people but please allow it to happen naturally do not give up your life do not give up your career because of your marriage and don't change your line if you don't need to if you don't need to change your line please don't change your line keep that line in every marriage right there is somebody that settles into wife or husband faster than the other person in most cases it's usually the woman that settles in faster than the other person like the other guy i know that for some cases it's the other way around but majority cases is the woman that settles in first so if you are the one that settled in first try to give grace to the other person that is still trying to come to terms with this new reality like okay i'm just getting married because for the most part the other person that has not settled in will still want to be bringing some single life inside the thing you know not being accountable not calling you not telling you where they are because they are just so used to being you know single or not being coupled with somebody so you are going to give the other person grace so this point i'm saying try to give your spouse grace you are not when you say oh i'm tolerating so much from this person i'm tolerating remember that that person is tolerating so much from you too it's not everything that you do that that person likes but you pass still together anyway so that person as you are tolerating from that person that person is tolerating from you too so don't be thinking that you walk you are like uh, you are you are without blame don't be thinking like oh my husband my husband my wife my wife behave like this when you are saying my husband my husband look inwards too and know that there are some things about you that your husband or your wife is tolerating so learn to give one another grace eventually the other person that has not settled in we come and meet you in the marriage so learn to give one another grace the next point i'm going to give is that don't focus on superficial things superficial things are things that can change please don't focus on superficial things i have a spec my spec is tall dark and handsome it is good to have a spec but if you have somebody that ticks all your boxes and they are not your spec you are better off with that person than your spec that doesn't tick all your boxes i don't know if you understand what i'm saying so while it is good to have a spec be an be open-minded keep your options open in case the someone else that will treat you better is not your spec you are better off than my sister and some people grow in love some people grow in marriage some people learn to love their spouses it is actually better like that that to be treated bad by somebody that is your spec just because you want to look good on instagram you want to be the perfect couple picture perfect couple i don't like fat people i don't like fat people you married a slim woman that's that this thing can change tomorrow she gives birth to children she puts on weight what are you going to do will you throw her away husband must be tall that can handsome good and fine you married him tall that can handsome two months into marriage he has an accident and they amputate his leg what will you do 
if that is your if that is the crux of why you are getting married to that person then it is better you don't because these things can change i know this person does not have any money he doesn't have any money that can change tomorrow someone that has so much money too can become a pauper tomorrow so life don't focus on superficial things you need to look for something you hold on to and say this is the reason i'm marrying this person let it not be because they are tall let it not be because they are they are they are sexy a sexy person can be unsexy tomorrow let's let's be factual about that there are battles in marriage okay don't let don't some of you go into marriage thinking it's a bed of roses it has to be perfect no there are battles in marriage there is no perfect marriage there are battles in marriage for some people the battle could be infertility for other people the battle could be immediately they got married husband lost job or wife lost job for some people immediately they got married one of the spouse falls sick so marriage is a, like it's not a bed of roses you can make it your own bed of roses but don't think that as you're going into marriage all your problems in the world is solved no for in fact for any reason self devil likes to attack the institution of marriage so there are going to be issues there are going to be battles so you need to stick together as a team to fight these battles together because believe me you don't know what you are capable of until you are faced with certain situations mm? you are saying oh this person you didn't used to behave like this you don't know what you are capable of until you are faced with certain situations the last thing and i'm going to leave you with this is that people change yes people change i have seen bad people become good people and i have seen good people become bad people so if your spouse is trying, if your spouse is willing to learn, your spouse is trying. Change is not a one day thing. You know, it happens gradually. So don't think that if you talk about something today, like, oh, let's change this thing. I don't like the way you are behaving. Don't think that by tomorrow, your spouse will not make that mistake again. They will definitely make that mistake. But constant reminder, be telling them, be telling them one day it will stick. Because don't forget that this thing that you are trying to correct, your spouse has been doing it all their life. So you cannot just come and be letting them unlearn and relearn that thing in a short period of time. So allow for time for change. People can change, bad people can become good, and big good people can become bad. Make of that what you will. So that is the end of this whole marriage series. Thank you for watching and goodbye.